Instincts could wind up putting your infant at risk. Local 12 Sydney Benter has an important warning for your family tonight. Bundling up is key to surviving tri-state winters, but layering shouldn't carry over to your infant's crib. Oftentimes people uh, either themselves or their family, they want to get them cute blankets and cute stuffed animals to kind of fill up the crib, and that's actually not safe. A new study finds that more than half of U.S. infants sleep in a potentially unsafe environment. This puts them at an increased risk for SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. When it comes to your baby's crib, sometimes parental instincts should be checked at the nursery room door. We know that the problems are worse here locally, which is so uh, our rate of sleep-related infant deaths here is triple the national average. Cradle Cincinnati says more than 70 infants have died sleep-related deaths in Hamilton County in the last five years. In some cases, the best of intentions, but the greatest loss. A big puffy blanket can cover up the baby's mouth and nose, and when they're too young to roll over, when they're too young to move their neck, they can't escape on their own. Instead of blankets, Cradle Cincinnati suggests first bumping up the thermostat, Sleep sacks, which are essentially wearable blankets, are another alternative. When in doubt, keep in mind the ABCs of safe sleeping. If we had more families uh, that put their babies to sleep alone on their back in a crib, no big soft bedding, uh, we'd have fewer infant deaths. Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. Cradle Cincinnati says you should keep all toys, crib bumpers and comforters out of sleep areas until the baby is about six months old. If you live in Hamilton County and need a crib but can't afford one, call the United Way.